What would you rather do? Pack up your whole house in preparation for a move, or eat a frog? Well, I have good news for you. You can do both. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. I don't know about you, but I've moved multiple times in my life, and moving would not be high on the list at all of favorite things to do, and packing would be even lower on the list. Brian Tracy is a motivational speaker, and he's written a book called Eat That Frog. And the premise of the book is, at least in business, but it applies to everything in your life, his premise is, every day when you start your day, you should eat that frog. And eating that frog represents whatever it is you want to do least in your day, you dislike the most about what you have to do that day, do that first. So you've eaten that frog, and then the rest of your day is, is great. You'll be happy and excited about everything else. So to me, as I prepare for a move, packing, I'm eating a frog today and for the next few days to prepare for the move. But if we extrapolate this out to your health, what would eating a frog look like to you? For many people, exercise could be the frog that they need to eat each day. Um, I happen to enjoy exercise and, and have been doing it for a long time, but I understand that many people don't, but they do it anyways because they know they should. So if you're one of those people that you are new to exercise or you're jumping back on the exercise bandwagon again for the tenth time and you want to be consistent this time, eating that frog may be the secret for you. Do it first thing in your day so that's out of the way, and then you have no excuses because you've done it. Whereas later, doing it after work, there's always things that could come up and excuses you could make. If nutrition is, is what's holding you back, eating that frog's a little bit harder because you have to eat that frog at every meal. So, hey, is broccoli your frog? Is beets your frog? Is, uh, you know, whatever your least favorite vegetable or fruit is, um, eat that frog first. Or the cool thing about food is you don't have to eat what you don't like. There's plenty of options. So eating that frog from a nutrition perspective would be um, getting yourself, maybe eat a very healthy breakfast to start your day right. So this can be applied to business, it can be applied to health, it can be applied to life in general. So what are the frogs in your life? Which ones you need to take the biggest bite out of first in the day to make the rest of your day joyful and successful? Think about this tonight and post in the comments what your biggest frogs are.